Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. I think what we're going to do today is a little bit of exploration. Um, we did these seeds yesterday. I don't need a whole lot of this stuff on me. Uh, doesn't really... Yeah, probably if I wanted exploration, shouldn't really bring all of it with me. So let's dump some stuff. Um... Oh, what we can do is switch to our original clothing to look a little bit less redonkulous. We still wear the leather armor, so there's not a whole much of a difference, but you know. Um, right, so we want to stack that over there. We can... I don't really need flint anymore, but it's good to have for a backup. So this is what we want to get rid of. We want to keep this. Um, this can go into uh, here together with you and you. Don't really need these pals to begin with, but that's fine. Okay, get rid of that. Want to keep that. Get rid of this one. Want to keep that. Want to keep that. Want to keep that. And then the rest of it can go. Yeah, okay, cool. Rest of it can go. You're still one day remaining. See, when you've got stuff to do, time flies. When you don't have stuff to do, it becomes a little bit annoying. Uh, that can stack with the other limestone. Charcoal can go in here with the other charcoal. Clay. Where the hell is that clay? There we go. Resin can go here with the, with the fats. That looks to me like a adventurous inventory. Eh, some stuff is a bit on the low end, but I don't care much for a shovel. And what I do want to bring with me is the pick, and I will bring this back for sure. So what I want to check out, and I'm probably going to wait a little bit, and we're going to go to sleep, is I want to do a... Because we found out that this is a chalk biome. I want to check for borax in this little biome over here and that probably means that this is also either chalk or limestone so I kind of want to check around there some of these are already din din done and I think if I remember correctly borax is also in shale isn't it borax is in let's see yeah shale shale sandstone claystone limestone Conglomerate church. But this is all shill, or part of it is shill. Uh, I think this is andesite, but there's shill around here, so we want to check that for sure. Um, I think this is limestone. So is this over here. So we kind of want to check some of that. So if I. This is andesite, andesite, andesite. And this is all granite. So the path is going to be something like. Over here, I will quickly do a check around these spots. I will do quickly over some better here, and I will see what winter uncovers while everything is smelting. Um, if I sleep now, it's eight hours. That would get me six o'clock. So that gets me at two o'clock in the morning. That's a little bit early. I got four surfings. I could make some bread. Pie. I could make pie. Let's make some pie. What's the highest density veg that we have? We don't really have high density veg. Well, still gonna make some pies then today, so that we can do a little bit of exploration. If only I had a windmill, for crying out loud. Ah. Uh. Actually, hold on. Now, I don't have the windmill yet, but hold on. I kind of want to try something. I had a, I had some axle remaining. Yeah. So if I have two gears, does that then work for some reason? Hold on. Um, okay. I know this might not be the most popular thing to do, but I kind of want to see if, if I go in creative mode to see what I can find out. And I could, you know, load into a new world and do all that kind of stuff, but I find that a little bit annoying. So 
Uh, and I have angled gears here. So what if I add a gear right here? Connecting axle must be attached to a block. Um... Yeah, but we don't get the three split that I'm looking for. And that's that's the issue, right? Because that's what we want to see. So that's the thought bubble that I had. But I, that's not possible. So you can't do a three split axle like I had hoped for. So if this would turn, it would not only do uh, this thing. Um, which is a shame. <laughs> I just had a thought... Which would be the most inconvenient way of doing this, but no. Um, so, reality speaking, you want to get a, a connector from here. It's going to be attached to an axle. All right, so I want one he thing here. Axle there. Now, that's the problem. I want um, there we go and then <laughs> would it be easier to just have this thing I don't know It's like such a hassle to do. <laughs> Can't be this complicated, right? Why would it be? But it is. <laughs> Thing is, right? If I would... Yeah, so what I ideally would want to do is um Wait, I can't do that? Wait, is that the a height problem? Oh, the block is in the way. Oh, that's the uh, ladder. So this would be technically the optimal way for me to achieve this. So we would do a thing here, thing here, a uh, gear here, and a gear there. That would that would be the solution to make that thing run as well, which is like super unoptimized, unless. I can somehow connect this system down here into a method that, you know, we don't need to do this weird stuff. What if I would put a uh, gear or an axle, hold on, right, right here, on the wrong way, and then put a gear underneath it. Oh, this thing doesn't, can it put this thing upside down? No, that's kind of a shame, really. So, but I can make him one lower, right? Make it a little bit lower. Um, there we go. And this thing doesn't need to be as high. So what we can do then is gear uh, here a thing, axle one wrong way. Don't worry, I'm going to delete all of this and restore it. There we go, so that works. And... <laughs> I 
I need a gear. Okay, there. And then right there. And if I put one right here, there's a block in the way, so hold on. There we go. So that would work. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. So to just to restore this. Um <laughs> the hell did I have? There we go. That. And then that thing needs to go. And that that and that needs to go. I can just reattach this to here. I mean keep one because it's the one that should be there, and then we just delete all of this. And I have one more gear remaining because there was the gear that interfaced here. So we gotta create a one. So yeah, there we go. I we can just build that. So oh god, I need to get a <laughs> It's a little annoying. <laughs> uh, put that there. Interface it there. Let me can remove this block. Good. And then we want to remove this one here. And need to place a block there. And once again, wrong angle. And I just make a gear, so I need to make two gears. That's it, right? I only remembered. Um, no, it's uh, it's not a gear, it's an angled... Oh, it is a gear. Why, why wasn't it showing up? Right, so... My pine logs. And I need my fats, resins, chisel, and hammer. There we go. All right, so, uh, gear. Interesting that it doesn't show if I type gears. Okay, so fat, two pieces, resin, two pieces, uh, two sticks. Oh, I need my saw, but that's fine. Uh, that there, the logs there, and the hammer there. And that's annoying because that's not what I want to do. I want to grab my saw, which I can't flipping select from here. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Right. <laughs> Uh, that one can go there, that one can go there, and that one oh, can go there, go there. Grab the axe. Got those two back. There we go, and there we go. Oh, I need one more gear. Crap. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, still have the fat. Okay, so fat, resin, log, that, 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 and then two sticks. Where's my sticks? I can switch the fat around. There we go. Yep. No, let's not do that. Let's not store that in a random chest because then I'll definitely never find it again. If you know an easier solution than this, uh, let me know. <laughs> Wait, why is it not... Is it because the axle isn't supported? Oh yeah, it is. Now what I can do, which might actually be a little bit more elegant, I don't know if that actually will work. No, it won't. I still have... I should still have... Yeah, I have some Andes Ash Ashlar. That will look at least a little bit better than 
these because I don't know if they work if they're not supported. Plus, it would look really weird. I know this thing is unreachable from here, but for that, we have... I keep placing random blocks everywhere because I'm in chests. Ah, annoying. Anyway, let me put this back up. Fill this... Fill our chests back up. Uh, you can go into here, you two. So these axles. I don't want this on me. This can go here as well. Uh, pine locks can go there. I want to keep this on me. I want to keep that on me. That's fine. But let's call it backup food. Uh, I have what I need. There we go. In one of these boxes. So I can just open the door and just put stuff in and then we should be fine. Not this pathway all of a sudden became important again. <laughs> uh, we'll put that in here and I had the ashlar, what else? You know what I can do? I can actually make some pathways. I have a lot of random stone laying about, so it's probably for the best if I actually just spent some time doing something useful I can, you know i don't know how much i have but we might be able to finish no we need a lot more than that hmm right get some 14 path pieces oh there, there's the thing that i was missing There I was wanting to make pie <laughs> wanted to make pies, but I ended up making roads. What? <laughs> Shut up. Doesn't may not make any sense to you, but it does to me, and that's the important bit. <laughs> Alright, I did line this up, so this should line up perfectly with the bridge. Okay, we need need to get that's a little annoying that it lines up in a way that we don't actually get all of the dirt that we need. Oh. At least we get some. I need to get 17 dirt from somewhere, though. Alright, so let's just get rid of this. In a trusty hole there, which we've been dumping a whole lot of stuff in anyway. Uh, let's see, we could, you know what, dig some from here. I don't know for a fact I'm going to need more anyway. Wait, I got a random cranberry bush? Did I nick one of my uh, bushels? No. Just have a random extra cranberry bush. That's fine. Alright. There we go. There we go. Level 38. There we go. And we can clip these out. There we go. See, a little bit of decorating. I've, I've been neglecting it a lot, so, you know. Good thing that we occasionally do some of it. I definitely don't have the um, stone chunks to, to make this much. I'd love for another. A little bit more. Let's see, there we go. I've got a little bit laying about. Three, four, five. You know what? That's actually better. Right. Let's use the low fertility soil first. Yoink. All right, got another seven. 
Now we've run officially out of stone, so this is about as far as we can get it. Got six, so that's one, two, three. Probably we'll get some more at the next mining sessions anyway, so yeah. Then we could just make a little bit over here. A little bit of pathway. Well, let's just we'll extend this a little bit. So the pathway, we can already dig it. Let's just dig it already. So I know where it is. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Um, there we go. And there we go. And then we can just dig this out. Oh, interesting. I somehow was under the assumption we did not connect up directly. And you know what? I think I'm going to do this entirely different. Hold on. Got a better idea. I might need, need some more dirt for that. Um... We are going to just fill up the entire damn thing. And let's see how much gravel I have known. You know what? I've got a lot of packed dirt I can just stuff in there. But there we go. And then. Right, so now we can just path this up, and then we'll do the stair as around one further forward, like right there. We should be okay, so we'll do the path over to here. Those stairs right there. Can't remember how you make path stairs. You know what would probably be better is slabs. Um, because I think slabs might just be better overall. Um, I'll take a quick look at the recipe. Let's see what we can do for replacement. So, path. Because if they're exactly the same in cost, they're a lot more expensive actually. So, yeah. Mm. How much slaps? How many slaps do I get from one of these? One. Okay. The reason for it is just very simple. It just looks a little bit more natural than what I have now. I think I still probably have some stone laying about. Yeah, there you go. Easy. I can do is just dig out part of this for some extra slaps. Let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Right. Because I think all of them block movement speed anyway. Because it's a slight step up. Let's see if the bees have anything interesting to say today. Uh, neighbor flower 74. Population size large. I don't... will swarm in less than a day. Okay, so that's good. I still have no fucking clue how that exactly works, but that's beside the point. Right. Uh, you know what? Considering we need some dirt for the paths, and I don't really need packed dirt, I might as well use that as 
I was thinking, I might need to make another shovel. All right. I think I genuinely can make four more if I remember correctly, because I think it's four, we've got 22. 22. Yeah, oh, five more. That's done as three. There we go. So I'm missing a little bit, but we're almost there. Just need a little more rock. Well, huh, that's daylight. Um, I think I'm fine with everything else. Um, I don't want that Ashlar block to be here. Let's get that rid of that. And there has to be an Ashlar block somewhere. There we go. We'll put this in here. And I wanted to make food. <laughs> that was this, where this whole endeavor started with, was me making food so I could do a little bit of an exploratory run. Let's see if we could find Borax. <laughs> Not that I necessarily need it, but whatever. Because I can't now manually turn this thing anymore, I think. Oh. Um, I would need the wind for that. And that's going to be definitely a little bit longer. Because I need four more flax cloths. So I could also go for ruin hunting. Because this is going to take me at least... Like f five more days. Six more days, I think. Six to seven days. Uh, how much food do I... I have another stack of turnips with me. I'll be fine. Let's fucking go. Don't really want to waste my time. Well, let's go. I got a hat. A spring in my step. I think when I saw this, I still had hair. Okay. <laughs> I mean me, not my character. <laughs> uh... Uh, just to clarify for those who know, sitting there like very confused, like what? When I, uh, I think I, I can't remember when I donated my hair, and it must have been past spring. So, given three episodes a week, eh, let's say two episodes a week average. We've been doing this for twenty four weeks. Yeah, I think when I started this, I still had my hair. <laughs> I'm bald as a cue ball now, um, so my profile picture is also not entirely accurate anymore. Um, I asked my artist to if he what what it will cost to revamp it, but he never responded to it. I might need to pick him up on that again, like saying, "Hey, buddy, pal, friendo, I need you, man. Why is this block a different color? It bothers me." Uh. No reason, apparently. Oh, come on. Pick it up. Swimming is mildly borked, to say the least. I don't fucking care enough. I wonder. Wait, that just... You don't collect it? God, why... What the hell is my character doing? No, you don't collect it. That's weird. Okay, I would sort of expect it to be able to collect it and to make dried seaweed out of it for some reason. I don't know why, but I thought it might be possible. If you want to fish, you genuinely need to stab one, though fishing becomes something in the next patch. Like, this game, just to clarify, this game is still in active development, it's not finished yet, it's still in alpha. It's also the reason why it's not on Steam, because it's not done yet. And Tywin, I believe it's Tywin if I remember cor correctly, the developer, the, the guy making this game, doesn't want to deal with Steam and people being like, Hey, this game isn't complete yet. Because, I'll be honest, I always find it funny when the game releases in early access and people are like, wow, this game is woefully incomplete. And you're like, buddy, it is in early access. Of course it's fucking incomplete. 
which is always wonders me. Like, uh, recently the Forever Winter released, and I'll be, I'll be honest, I, I feel that game is, is barely on the cusp of being more than a tech demo. I think it barely left the prototyping phase, in my personal opinion. I'm professional. Um, which go hand in hand, 9 out of 10 times. Um, but a lot of people are like, oh, this game is really incomplete. And you're sitting there like, buddy, that's early access. It doesn't mean that you get access to a game earlier. No, no, no. It means that game hasn't finished developing yet. And that, that does matter in the grand scheme of things. Especially if you're this little chicken. Yoink. Can make some chicken out of that one. Well, not economic. <laughs> can make chicken out of this chicken. <laughs> really? Yeah. Surprised me as well. Oh my god. Yeah, why not? When you dig out ruins, uh, the most up, maybe you want to not dig it out in a way that it falls all on top of your head. Now I don't go, we'll not go exploring every underground hole and I hope we're finding another cluster. Don't worry, they're rare. A lot of those are ruins. Um, but I kind of want to see if I can find um, some um, ancient dirt, but not doesn't really look like it. What am I doing? I wanted to go prospecting. Just for shits and giggles, because I'm waiting for the bees, plants to grow. Just been spending some nice time outside trying to find more flax. It's rye. Oh, everything goes awry. <laughs> there we go. Eat that. Good. Now we could quickly, while we're, at, while we're here, might as well check on the bees. Another field scap. I don't think we will. Oh, come on. I hate these rivers. So that chicken. Swim. Like, it, you can't even swim sideways. Like, I know I've, I've, I've done river swimming. Yes, it's dangerous. But it's not that dangerous. Chickens don't stack, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Uh, oh, this is a populated scab. Oh, cool beans! Uh, can I find some clay nearby? Because I would... Ah, fuck it. We'll be fine. Horns. Um... I don't think... This ru this trip is gonna be the trip that I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, here, you chicken. Come here, chicken. Die for your feathers. Um, right. Is this spelt? Flax. Cool. Yeah. And I only want the... Ah, seeds is fine. I'll take the seeds then if it doesn't drop anything else. Now, the reason I was looking a little bit for ruins is... Because potentially there's, you can drop large amounts of um, silk, silk, flax, that stuff. I still do want to do a quick um, prospecting tour of the area over there. So it takes only about a couple of days then to really populate the the thing. So this is granite. Uh, let's slow to south then. Okay, let's see if we can cross the river before things go really haywire. I think it starts up there, so we might be able to cross like over that and do a little bit of a roundabout to see what we can find. I do not expect any real borax hits because I kind of would have probably already would have hit it like on my searches. So, but maybe we get lucky. Maybe we're unlucky, like in the radius of for prospecting. Who knows? I'm looking forward to, to find it. Like, if we get Borax, I could potentially still do it. Yeah, probably won't. Maybe on my own personal time, probably not. Because 
I have a list of games that I want to play that are releasing soon. Like we got Factorio coming out with a new expansion. Definitely want to spend more time on that than is good for me. Um, I still need to finish Satisfactory, which I want to dive back into at some point when I get the ah bear, the willpower to actually do so. Please don't follow me, bear. Please don't follow me, bear. Um, chalk. Bear did not follow. Good bear. So there's so much stuff that I want to do. Uh, let's see. Illamite, Cinnabar, Sphalerite, Native Copper and Silver. Uh, that's not bad. Pretty good, actually. I don't know what Elamite is, but I think it's used for if you want to have ref higher quality refactory bricks. I don't exactly know what the quality of refactory bricks change. Emerald Bismuthite. These are good hits, actually. Um, I don't know what it exactly shifts around, but it might be something to do with the sp processing speed, if I had to hazard a guess. Cinnabar, Castor, Solar, Emerald, Silver, Halotide. Yeah, let's uh, roughly line up ourselves in the middle-ish here, so that we'll be right around here. Halotide, Silver, Galena, Emerald, Lenite, Cinnabar, it's gonna be a lot of stuff we got we hit there. Okay, let's try one over here. Same deal. But nothing really significant. That's fine. Uh, look me at my Cinnabar, Galena, Hamatite, Sphalerite. Still no Borax. Yeah, there's so many games, and then there is a uh, farming simulator that will release soon with a new update. Let's see, Hamilton Solar Red Castle Limited and Gold. Um, or not now update, a new, a new, the new version. Um, Zero oh, Sievert soon will release uh, its 1.0 version, which I'm looking forward to. That's a bit of a shorter game, you can finish it in about 10 to 20 hours. Uh, what else? Like, there's so many games that are releasing, like, soon or near soon that I want to play. <laughs> and most of them I don't want to do for the channel. Because they're my... Like, Satisfactory would be technically one of the more ideal ramble games, but considering that to do anything basic in Satisfactory, it would take me at least 80 hours by now. Um, I'd rather not. <laughs> Um, though it would motivate me to probably finish it uh, a little faster than I'm currently right now. Uh, let's see, just circle like that probably, and then we'll just take that loop there. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Um, that's my big fear with Space Age, that by the time I reach Space Age, I'm already burned out. Like, I'm not an efficient Factorio player. <laughs> in the slightest. Um... And, but it's, like, <laughs> Factorio does solve one problem I have, though, with what I have with Satisfactory, is that I can use fucking blueprints that are actually good. Like, I've been trying, like, I've spent, I think, nearly 40 hours in total trying to get a real bl blueprint going that is easy to use and implement, that gives you consistently good-looking real network. Lake Knight. No, oh, it's Bauxite, not Bauxite, we're Borax that we're looking for. I just can't. And it's really annoying, and I don't know, it, it bugs me in ways that it shouldn't. But it does. It sure as hell does. We are not getting any fucking borax. I'll humor myself and I'll do a quick uh, note search after this, uh, one that I showed after I've explored this entire chalk biome. I don't know what the spawn rate is in chalk, it's probably not super high, I, I guess it to guess. I don't know what the most common spawn is for it, but... 
I sure as hell can't fucking find it. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay. But yeah, no, it's just, it's, it's so easy to just lay like large quantities of track in um, Factorio compared to like Satisfactory. Satisfactory is a lot of manual work. Like, and I guess that's, that's what I talked about this before. Like Satisfactory doesn't really respect your time in a way of, yes, everything happens on your time. However, a lot of things just take a enormous amount of time to even do right so it's not as 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 easy as just um well yeah you know i have all the time in the world and i can do this and there is no real reason for me to hurry up or do anything like on those lines i got all the time in the world but you know if i if i want to do this in an efficient way i need to at least you know combine seven eight different nodes with trains so i need a train system to set up that it you know runs automatically and then you need to start running the trail track so you start laying laying the groundwork for that and then you realize that you need to still do a whole lot of actual work to get the trains to line up in a in a way that actually fucking functions it's just it's a hassle it is such a hassle and it is bugging the crap out of me uh, yeah, it's finding a lot of stuff, but not the stuff that we're looking for. At satisfactory, just setting up trail uh, rail lines is just like I have. I made a blueprint pack at some point, and I just import that in every one of my games, and it fucking works as charm. And it's just like bap 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 bap, and then you've got like a million railways. 40 million trains just driving around, no problem. Um, it's pretty cool, but yeah. So, and for that, like this, I think I get why they do it, and I think one of my bigger, the reason why railing in Satisfactory to set up is such a bitch to do is because of the verticality of it. All right, well, there goes that. Oh, right, fragments. Now we don't need to bring that with us, so we can then bring that, 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 that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shovel head. Oh, I need to, of course, have the other flint, otherwise I can't nap. It's been a while since I did this. But yeah, so you spend a lot of time and then, you know, you lay all the foundations that you need to and then you still need to build all the rail and then blah, 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 blah. Wine, wine, wine. Not interesting. I know. Sorry. Mmm, Galena. Nothing. Really are not hitting anything useful. I, I I'm starting to doubt if there can I hit these for or no? I'm really starting to doubt if there is any in this fucking this world. Luna silver I don't I don't even know what the hell that is. That's shirt, isn't it? Down there. Let me see. Can I oh whoa 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 Shit. I want to see what stone type that is, because I can't- I don't recognize it, really. Slate. Uh, native copper, casserole, galena, rock side. Yeah, nothing interesting, though. Right, there we go. There we go. Good. Check. Oh, that's not a goot. A fucking goat. Check over here. And after that, I'll do a quick little area search if I can't find any in the specific biome, which I don't think I will. Just to see if there's anything within like a thousand blocks radius. It's like, hey, is there any borax? I don't think of ever had so much trouble finding borax. I used to run my entire leather operation on that stuff, because I could almost everywhere in my uh, my other world. It, it might be something to do with the Plains and Valley generations. No, because I've seen a playthrough of a guy doing 
stuff in this mod that worked. That's granite, right? Uh, oh, that's conglomerate. Okay. So that will also contain... Um, uh, potentially borax. So we could try to search a little further. <sighs> How big is this biome? That's not that big, okay. You know what? Well, we're long we're running at 45 minutes and I still need to return home. <laughs> if I don't find any in 15 minutes or before I finish this uh, chunk. Halotite. I can find, that's kind of funny. Most people don't find halotite ever in their playthroughs. I find that shit everywhere, except for Borax. There's an entire quartz layer here. <laughs> it's kind of funny when I hear people about it. Like, oh, I can't find halotite. I can't find halotite. I find that shit literally everywhere, apparently. Pesmetite, Rodostrite. A lot of surface copper. A lot of surface quartz. But no fucking borax. No borax. I probably can jump across there. Is that a chalk layer? Huh. So there is granite and chalk or limestone underneath the conglomerate. I don't even know what for stone like that is in IRL. Like I've never, I can't, I can translate most stones so like because they're roughly got the same name. Um. But, uh, conglomerate? No. Oh, shit, biscuits. Fuck me, I guess. Jump. Oh, you jumped as well, son of a buck. Please run into that hole. No, he did not. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm running for wolves again. Where's my bow? It's in my backpack, isn't it? Where is my... Oh, where, yeah, this is my backpack. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Sneaky buggers. Well, they don't lead me to... Uh, what I wanted. A little slate here a little bit. i make beautiful roofs with slate. I think you could make slate roofs. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I don't think we're up. Oh god. Find any. So this is the ch chalk. It's also really useful for limestone. This is all the rock types that we need for borax, but we're just not having any fucking luck. Might be just only like a surface level, so that, that all the like the deep rock stuff is a uh, granite. Could be what's going on. Might as well check. Right, it's slate, it's conglomerate. But this is all granite. Oh, random gear. What? That usually means that there's something here. I don't think I've ever seen them randomly around. Huh. What the hell? No, nothing. Do a quick reading. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a random gear lying around, but maybe because it's considered cave? 
I don't know. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, there is a cave here. Might as well explore a little bit, right? Okay. Yeah, another gear. That's weird. Huh. Nothing. It might have been cut because the generation, it might have just cut through like a cave system that was supposed to be there. But now isn't here because of the of the river? I don't know. I don't know. It's not my expertise. You know what I should really do? Scroll a little bit less. I don't even look. I look at half of it. I don't even expect it to show up anymore. That's why I wouldn't know, right? Cinnabar, right. blah, 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 nothing, 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 and nothing. Will it be here? No, of course it won't be, because it would be silly. I want to check the uh, dark rock we've got there. Shale. I don't think it was in shale. Sure as hell is. Alright, well, that's then. Check the shale. Sorry, it's in the magnets at Kesserad. Galena and native copper. This is, it's like, it's not... Like, we could have checked that entire era. I'm just gonna... Um do this now and show you that there is no i'm gonna scan in a larger radius i don't think i can so let's show in a radius of 500 blocks around me borax scan that's gonna now look it's gonna take a second and we'll probably not find anything so why fucking would it? <laughs> the fact that it's not picking up anything is pretty abysmal. <laughs> Let's lower the scan radius a little bit, because it might be a little bit too much for it. So let's say like 512. So maybe, uh, see he buys pretty interesting stuff. Hmm. I have two gears on me. But all of what he sells is too expensive. Forlorn Hope Breastplate. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Smoking Pipe. Carpet. Like, I have the gear for this at home. Um, to buy these two. Ah, buy one of them. Ah, probably only the belt now that I think about it. And I can't sell him anything, because I don't literally have none of his items. I can maybe sell him emerald for 18 gears. Wow. I, don't, I think I have emeralds. It's a luxury merchant. I probably should mark this guy, because he's not that far away. Uh, it's, it's 8 o'clock. Let's sleep through the night. But the scan, by the way, hasn't picked up anything. So that means that in a 500 radius, there is zero borax. I might have somehow found a world where there is literally no fucking borax. 
I know. That sounds very unbelievable, but uh, that is what it looks like. The scanner is on. So, yeah, that if it doesn't find any, it just doesn't exist <laughs> in a 500 block radius. That is not normal. I can show you. Oh, that's my washing machine being done. I can show you that. Look, I've seen you showed it before, but if I would search for something like Magnetite, we've got a couple of hits from around here. We'd probably see like the entire game light up and lag its way to to infinity. So let's just check that, right? Let's just check if that thing is actually working as it should be. So borax do magnetite. Mac uh iron ore and iron ore bits. Scan. Let's see what it does. Should start showing up soon. Can no notice it in the game that's becoming a slightly laggier. So far nothing though. Is this fucking thing just broken? Is that it? Oh, no, yeah, there you go. This is all iron ore. This is how much iron ore has been generated around here. This, this is just within 500 blocks of what I can find. Uh, if I, I can make it myself easier, if it's group far away results. We'll give it a second, right? This is why, why I now know that there is genuinely no borax in this world. I think it might have, might be a, a generation thing that bugs between like the rivers mod and the plains and valleys mod or something. Like yeah, so look, it just finds all of this iron. This is all magnetite. Um, I'm fairly certain it's all magnetite. But yeah, if I would dig down in most spots, I would eventually just hit iron. I'm going to remove these two and just put the scan back in. I just wait a second. Let's kind of cycle through all those blocks again. And uh, it's going to not hit anything. <laughs> oh, meantime, we just keep moving. It doesn't really matter if it's still still or not. It does a little bit, but... Considering that I can no longer feel my frame rate, Hink, it's up. Definitely prospect there before. See, new no borax. None of it. That is is bad. So that genuinely means I can't even do steel, even if I wanted to, because the, the world just didn't generate borax for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Really have no idea why it would do that. I don't. It might be just a. Cause so this is this is also what I heard. Like some people swear, like they've they can't find any borax whatsoever. And this is what it makes me think of. Of um, maybe there is a bug in the game or something. It just uh, fucks up spawning or something. I don't know. Yeah, there is no borax, and I probably could um, do something with my save and. Uh, read out all its spawn values. It's probably possible because it has to be for debug reasons. That looks interesting. Um, really? Um, but still, right? I kind of want to check that real fast. While we're stuffing our face full of turnips. Christ. Maybe I shouldn't check that, because it will probably kill me. Well, it probably won't. I probably will. Oh. Lead. Did I say I wanted some lead? Um, can make use it to make lanterns. So let's... Pick up a stack of lead. Why did that collapse? <sighs> so scared the crap out of me. Probably a very small bit of lead.
I died. Uh, add to that. Look, there. You know, you notice the lagginess. This is it searching for borax, and then it smooths out because it never found any. How far away is that? That's far enough away that I don't really feel like having to redo this. Uh, let me just quickly move over there. I know the corpse runs are supposed to be a thing, and I'm gonna cut. I'm not gonna do this in the other one. I'm gonna actually keep them in. Um, but because I can edit them, it saves me, uh, or you, I guess, a lot of watch time. That's potentially really boring. Oh god, I can't. Ooh. You know what? Just sit myself down here. And there we go. Just chuck that over the edge because I know I have a full inventory. There we go. Grab that, grab that. Don't want to grab that. Do want to grab that. risky for the fact that this is already unstable um what the hell are you doing here fuck off um don't know if this actually works oh shit um but this this did remove its instability okay that works actually I did not expect that much to be here, actually. Now, I know you can make wooden beams and they're designed to really, you know, make it less dangerous to go mining. I think this might be it. Right, what I can do actually is shift the node no surging mode. Uh, trace amounts of Galena, right? So there's a very small amount left, and I don't. That's not enough for me to care. Okay, no temporal gear because that would have been kind of good. All right, cool. Right, let's pick that one up. And did my no? Oh, my game didn't crash. It's all tapped for some reason on me. And this seems to go up, which is kind of where we want to go, so... Alright, well... Fuck you! Stop chucking rocks at me, you dumbass! Alright, let me just quickly... Reorganize this the way it should be. So, you know, I can memorize my hotkeys. Alright. I can hear some shuffling around. Flint and chalk. That's not that interesting. Alright. That means it's a dead end, and I am not really feeling like wasting my more of my own pickaxe trying to get through the dead end. What I am gonna do though, while in Rome, realize that there indeed is no borax around here. <laughs> really? Even after you use that mod that should find that stuff for you? Yep. Yeah. I want that. I... No, I don't want those flax seeds. I want the f soil the least. That's how desperate I am for... Oh god. I need to go up. So let's go up. Wasn't even close. Stop tooting. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Why the hell? Okay, this might be just a very... Uh, you know what? <laughs> this is just the chunks loading in, by the way. It's not the... Uh, 
searcher that kicks in. But yeah, if I can't find it in like a thousand block surroundings, it just doesn't exist, I guess, at all. I'll give it one more chance to find it. Um, see, there are cave systems and they're beautiful underground cave things, but you know. I don't know what I just managed to not pick up. I am probably missing something right now. Hmm. I wouldn't know if you told me. Got the lead. Got the flax seeds, got the bees, got the backpack, got the gears. What am I missing? Oh, the bull. What the hell is my bull? These bitches steal my cl They stole my football. Son of a bitch. You know what? Because I'm going to fly back. <laughs> think I... Nobody minds that one. Oh, I do actually want to say I want to fly back. Let me quickly just do the borax search in a maximum radius. For some reason I can't do that right now. It might be because I'm in creative mode. No, wait, I think we're fine. There we go. Hmm, it's being a little bit weird about it. Might be the creative mode thing. Alright, let's uh, turbo ourselves home. I could just turn on keep inventory on death, but I don't find that. Like, I don't always mind dying. It's mostly when I'm knowingly do something that I know is gonna not work. I get annoyed a little bit faster. That nearly killed me. I don't know why. Oh, probably because it measured from where I lifted off. <laughs> uh, let's make a massive turnip stew. Kind of glad that the world's turning slowly green again. Uh, let's see. Yep. I uh, need something in there to burn. First, let's uh, check on the bees. There we go. Populated camp. Okay, so that works. Interesting. Population size poor, probably because it just populated that one. So if I want to pick them up, I should just have a nearby... Um, Kept for them to go in, I guess. I'll look that up at some point when it becomes relevant. So let's just cook ourselves a meal. Um, I think I still have firewood inside. I do. Backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horns are starting to become antsy. Well, let's put these in there. Bap, bap. Skin the two cocks. The cock rolls uh, for the feathers mostly. Maybe I should, you know, try to skin the one that actually needs to be skinned in one instead of the one that's next to it. A good amount of feathers. Right, let's uh, load. That definitely doesn't need 18, but we'll for now work with it. I'll keep an eye on it. I need to make new arrows. That's why I wanted the chicken feathers. Could go back to that trader and get that cloak. Looked cool. Uh, let's see. We got one. And two flax seeds. Well, we're at it. Might as well, right? God, it's good to not have any of that fucking snow anymore. 
Right, while that's cooking, let's uh, do a quick little moisturizing. I didn't realize that that hole is one deeper than it should be. Doesn't really matter. I'm not that OCD that it needs to be all the same height. Alright. Alright, that probably means everything is done. Oh god, no snow. It's just weird that the ice hasn't been melting yet. My experience, that's the first one to usually go. How are you looking? It's still dormant. Hmm. Might be a year thing. Uh, right. That's almost done. It will have enough residual heat to, uh, to fully cook. Then we can eat. But yeah, so, borax, right? If we can, I can't, I think the max distance is, like here, five label radius is, let's say like about a hundred blocks. So it's not going to scan in a radius of 5,000 blocks. And in all likelihood, it's not going to find anything. Maybe I need to up the label radius. Actually, hold on. Let's do the label radius like also 500 blocks. 5,000. Because maybe that's... The label radius, I believe, is the radius and where it still displays a label. So it searches in like a thousand blocks, but it said, when I said 10, it will not give me any results. Well, if it's, we'll let it run for a second. How are you doing, bud? Oh, it's good that everything's green. Yeah, not getting any results. That just genuinely means that it doesn't, cannot find borax in a radius of 5,000 around me. That's super weird. <sighs> uh, we'll keep you close because the drifters is right. I only have the chicken coop uh, lit up. Speaking of chickens. Let's quickly check. Because... Brooding in is needed. Five days. That used to be one day. Yeah, increase time remaining one day. So that would suggest that we now have more than four chickens in here. I can see five. Chickens, I don't think, get generations. None of these show any generation no okay so that's correct about that one luckily they're scared of me that's what really kind of weird because chickens well they're a bit skittish but they're not that skittish um that's the wrong one i need that one I want more eggs and i want more breeding chickens let's fill that up there we go. Eight portions of a grain. I don't think you will eat that. Could give him grass. Like, you can't breed horses in this game if you really want... Uh, well, not. If you do not... If you have the horse mod, you can. Uh, let's see. I want to lock that up. Lock that up. That needs to go there. That needs to go there. We need to slaughter those. I need to hammer the Galena. Well, we could probably still do that. Set up for the next uh, adventure a little bit. Which is uh, smelting some lead. Not that interesting. I'm just, so with that said, I'm going to actually end the video. I want to thank everybody for watching and see you hopefully in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye bye.